So is there a way to make the healing process quicker after an affair? Yes, there is. Most people take about two years to heal from an affair. Now, some people are a little bit quicker. Some people take a little bit longer. It's a very individual process and it varies depending on how much trauma you've had before, what else is going on at the time. For example, if you were diagnosed uh, with breast cancer at the same time you learned about the infidelity, that's kind of a double trauma happening at the same time. So it's going to take you longer. The timeline isn't as important as the process. So don't stress too much about the time, but if it makes you feel better, tell yourself most people are starting to feel better at six months. Then another significant increase in feeling better happens around one year. And then a big, you know, marker for a lot of people is the two year point where they say they feel mostly back to normal. You might be faster, you might be slower. Don't sweat it, just do what you can to help yourself heal. So what can you do to actually speed up the healing process? All right, here are ideas for the straying partner, the one who cheated, and for the injured partner, the one who was hurt by the affair. So to speed things up, if you're the straying partner, I really wanna encourage you to do full disclosure as soon as possible. Tell them anything and everything. Avoid very intimate details because that will further traumatize them, but answer their questions. Don't leave things out. Don't tell yourself you're protecting them. Tell them the truth. They want to get their arms around the truth. Then whatever you do, no more lies. Lying will set you guys back. I also think it's really important for you to have complete transparency with your communication devices, phone, email, laptop, whatever and your finances so that they know you're not spending money on inappropriate things. Then make sure you talk to your partner often about their thoughts and feelings. Really, really focus on providing them reassurance. The number one predictor of healing in our research was how much reassurance the straying partner gave. So you cannot give them too much reassurance. They are going to ask you a lot of the same questions over and over again. This is super normal. Don't worry about it. Keep answering honestly and keep reassuring them no matter how many times they ask the same question. Then do some individual therapy for yourself. Really focus on understanding why you chose this path and this pattern of behavior. Focus on um, your attachment story, um, any addiction, you know, issues that might be relevant for you. Um, also any traumas that happened in your life and your coping and communication skills. That should really help you get to a good place. Now, <clears throat> if you're the injured partner, here's what you can do to accelerate your healing from the affair. I, I really think you should get into individual trauma therapy as soon as possible. And I'd love to see you do some EMDR to help yourself heal. Um, EMDR is a technique to help us process trauma and the affair is a huge, huge trauma. Your life has been blown up, right? So the sooner you get into trauma treatment, the better. Um, I also want you to do lots of frequent talking with the straying partner and get that reassurance and get those answers that you crave and you need to heal. Also really challenge yourself to look for the positives in your relationship. You're going to be flooded with lots of negative thoughts and images. So really look for positives where you can. Focus on looking for um, evidence that your partner's behavior is actually changing. Look for evidence of true remorse. And then resist staying in the, you know, victim room for too long. Sometimes after something really bad happens to us, we feel like, it becomes us, that that's all we are. And that's what I mean when say when I say staying in the victim room. Push yourself out of that and say, you know what? Bad things happen to good people all the time. I didn't do anything to deserve this. No one deserves this. This happened to me. This is not me. And I'm going to move on from this space. And then um, move yourself when you can towards acceptance. I say acceptance instead of forgiveness, but the idea is similar in that it's Accept that this happened. Accept that your partner is a flawed person who did a horrible thing, that their intent was not necessarily to hurt you, but to help themselves. I know they did hurt you, but their goal for doing this behavior was not to hurt you. All right. Hope that helps, gives you some ideas. Let me know what you think. Let's talk about it.